Hey guys, Alexander here, and in this video I will be deriving the mean variance as well as the moment generating function of the Bernoulli distribution. So let's first remind ourselves, if a random variable x follows distributed as a Bernoulli random variable with the probability of success of p, then its pmf is given by p to the power x times 1 minus p to the power of 1 minus x for x equal 0 and 1, which is its support. So the expected value of x, as this is a discrete distribution, is the summation from x is 0 to 1, which is our entire support of x, px, 1 minus p to the power 1 minus x. And now if we go simply resolve the summation operator because we just need to go add when x is 0 to when x is 1. So we find that it is 0 times p to the power 0 times 1 minus p plus 1 times p times 1 minus p to the power of 1 minus 1. And we know that this resolves to p because this is 0 multiplied by some other numbers and this is 1 times p times 1 minus p to the power 0 which is 1 so it's simply p so that's the expected value of x remember that the variance of a random variable x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the square of the expected value of x so we need to go find the expected value of x squared which by definition is simply the summation from x is 0 to 1 of x squared p to the power x times 1 minus p to the power 1 minus x and this is simply going to be equal to so we know if we plug x is 0 in then the equation is 0 so it becomes 0 plus 1 times p times 1 minus p to the power of 0 which is equal to p so that means that the variance of x is equal to the expected value of x squared, which we found to be p, minus the square of the expected value of x, which is p, so p squared, which is equal to p minus p squared, which is equal to p times 1 minus p. And if we let q be equal to 1 minus p, which is often a, a substitution that is used when you are dealing with the Bernoulli and the binomial distribution, then we know that the variance of x is simply equal to p times q. Simple and easy to derive. So let's get to the moment generating function. As always, I will state the definition of the moment generating function. mx of t, which is the moment generating function of x, is equal to the expected value of e to the t x, which is equal to the summation over the entire support of e to the tx multiplied by px. Okay, so this is equal to the summation from x is 0 to 1 of e to the tx times p to the x times 1 minus p to the power of 1 minus x. So note that these two terms both have the exponent of x, so we can group them as pe to the t to the power of x multiplied by 1 minus p to the power of 1 minus x summation from x is 0 to 1 and this resolves to if x is 0 we get p e to the t to the power of 0 multiplied by 1 minus p to the power of 1 plus p e to the t to the power of 1 multiplied by 1 minus p to the power of 0 and this simply becomes 1 minus p plus p e to the t and this is valid for all values of t. t. So that means the moment generating function of x for a Bernoulli distributed random variable is equal to 1 minus p plus p e to the t. And this is our moment generating function x, uh, mx of t for x distributed as Bernoulli with a success probability of p thank you for watching i hope this quick video has made it clear to you how we can derive the mean variance as well as the 
um, moment generating function for a Bernoulli distributed random variable. If you have to do this in a test quickly or if you have forgotten either of these, then this is how you go about deriving them. But I do suggest that, as always, memorize the results for the expected value and the variance and the moment generating function because that will ensure that you can operate very quickly and efficiently when you have to solve um, questions. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this video has helped improve your understanding of probability theory and statistics. Boer Commander, out.